Hello, Anthem, and welcome to day two of devotionals this week. My name is Ashley, and I'm here with my husband, Gary. Hi. And today we are going over Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, and Revelation 19, um, chapter verses 11 through 16. So, Gary, what did you pull out of these passages? So what I pulled out of these passages today, as the title shows, it's the Greek word kenosis, uh, which means emptying oneself and um, putting others before yourself, just as Jesus was. Jesus was a servant leader and a prime example of how we should be living and serving other people. And um, and then so that's what I really took out and really um, was resonating with the past couple of weeks with sheltering at home um, with the family. Um, God's gone before our family and just really blessed us um, back in February, Ashley, not looking for work, got a job working for hospice as an RN and entered the workforce after being a stay-at-home mom for four and a half, four years. Mm -hmm. And um, so she's been working three days a week, finishing up orientation and um learning everything there. So I've been at home with four kids trying to work from home. And, you know, at that point, you really learn that, you know, get, you get so used to when you're working um, in an office environment. I'm sure all of you that are in the same boat as I am are understanding this too, that you could just close your office door, get work done, you put yourself first and um, to be able to get the work done. But when you're at home and the kids are always hungry or always need to go to the bathroom and always have distractions. You have to put them before yourself. And I'm definitely experiencing this day in, day out, the three days a week that Ashley um, is at the hospital helping those that need her help right now. So um, yeah, that's what's really sticking out to me about putting people, others before yourself and that emptying out. So we're just having to empty ourselves out for our families, our children that are at home and cooped up and it's been raining and snowing and they just want to play and mm -hmm. um, do different things. So yeah, that's what, that was one of the biggest takeaways I had from the uh, passages and the devotion. What about you, Ash? Uh, well, I agree. And I think w during this time, whatever your role is, whether you were, were already working outside the home or if you were working in the home, um, all of us, our routine has changed regardless of what we were doing before. And um, it's we all have opportunity to put other people first because our routines have changed no matter what we were doing before. And just looking at how Jesus um, really inconvenienced himself in coming down to earth and um, living a perfect life as a man. And um, he gave up a lot. And so it kind of helps put in perspective the little things that we're giving up, whether it's our routines, um, coming to work from home, or if you're already at home and you're having um, your husband or wife stay at home and how that can change. It just really gives us an opportunity to um, practice what Jesus did. And um, and people are watching and people see how we react. Yeah. And if they see how we're adjusting to life and how we're keeping that joy um, through it, I think that really can be a good light for Christ. It has a great light. And the last part that just really stuck out to me with this is the comparison from um, with um, with Jesus as uh, this is Passion Week and just knowing on Palm Sunday how Jesus would came in riding a donkey and just put himself on the lowest of low animals. That's a um, it's the transportation in his day for the servant, and everybody thought the king would be coming in on a stallion, right? In a stallion, but you see the comparison with that Revelation verse from Revelation 19, 11 through 16, where when he returns, he's gonna be coming in on that white stallion with his armies riding behind him. And um, it's a dear friend shared with me that passage and just coping this knowing that our loved ones that have passed before us, the loved ones that could perish to it's COVID-19, um, that those who are part of the kingdom, part of Christ's army, are going to be there with him, riding in on their horses, his army ready for um, the second coming. So, yeah, it's just seeing that comparison of Jesus as just our king, our leader, our lord of lords. Um, it's just been great to see. It's a good um, passage of, to hold on to the hope of that Jesus is victorious, and he's already victorious. Already. and. 
Um, when he comes back, he'll be coming in on the big white stallion, and that's just something to hold on to, especially in uncertain times when uh, we don't know what tomorrow is going to look like and things are changing so quickly. Um, we do know what Jesus has told us it will be like when he does come back, and we can hold on to that through that time. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in again today, Anthem. Uh, we want to challenge you. Ashley and I have loved going through these daily devotionals together as a husband and wife, and we hope you are as well at home um, with your spouse or um, reaching out to somebody, giving, picking up the phone, calling somebody, doing a Zoom call, FaceTime with somebody from the church and discussing this with one another. We don't have to be remembering these times when we can't see each other face to face, um, that there's so many means and we're blessed with technology to be able to connect with one another. So that's our challenge and our prayer for you this week is to find somebody to be going through these devotions with and really talking about them and discussing them. Mm -hmm. Thanks Thank for you watching. Guys. Bye.